Are you curious about the latest marketing trends that are changing the world of business? One such trend is network marketing, which allows businesses to boost sales through a network of distributors and dealers. This marketing method offers advantages, such as cost savings, a strong distribution network, and opportunities for distributors to earn commissions. However, there are also potential drawbacks, such as challenges with production goals and tracking distribution and sales. Learn more about the ins and outs of network marketing in this video. New marketing trends have changed everything about how business is done. Businesses can get a lot of new customers by using these new ways to advertise. Even the prices that businesses have to pay for traditional marketing methods go down because of them. One such trend that is changing the world is network marketing. Network marketing is a way for businesses to boost sales through marketing. They are used by manufacturers when they need to get their goods to more than one distributor. Sometimes, these people who sell the goods have help from other people. This makes a network of distributors who work at different points along the distribution chain. Manufacturers use this huge network of distributors to reach customers on many different levels. This gives them a way to reach out to even more customers in a roundabout way. So, these distributors and dealers act as independent representatives of the company. So, this is a way for the company to market its products without spending more money on advertising and other traditional marketing methods. Manufacturers need a number of distributors, sub-distributors, and dealers to set up a network marketing structure. Second, these distributors buy goods at wholesale prices directly from manufacturers. They can sell them to other distributors or keep them for themselves. This chain keeps going on and on. So, the distributors will end up selling the goods until they reach customers, or they may end up becoming the final customers themselves. This marketing network also gives these distributors an opportunity to make money. Manufacturers may pay them a commission based on how many goods they buy and sell as a whole. So, the way these distributors work is similar to the way insurance agents do. Network marketing is often used by manufacturers in business structures that need multi-level marketing. This is because these business models involve a large network of distributors and sub-distributors. It's also good for the people who sell it because they can make money from it. Most businesses, like Anway and Tupperware, hire people who do this on the side. Many women in India also work directly with manufacturers or become distributors. Network Marketing Advantages you can make the network marketing structure as big as you want. This is because companies can make deals with a huge number of people to be their distributors. Distributors can also work with sub-distributors to help the company make more sales. Companies don't have to rely on advertising to sell their products because they have a strong and reliable distribution network that lets them talk to customers directly. How distributors are set up also cuts into retailers' profit margins, which businesses see as an expense. These margins go to the distributors, and the companies don't have to pay for them. Another benefit is that companies don't have to spend a lot of money on storage and shipping. This is because these costs are usually paid for by the distributors themselves. Lastly, this structure lets distributors earn as much money from the company as they want. They can make money by selling things themselves and by getting commissions. Network marketing has some drawbacks. Since manufacturers rely on distributors to find out what consumers want, it can be hard to set production goals. They could end up with either too few or too many items. In this kind of business, it is mostly the distributors who make sure the goods get to the end customers. Manufacturers only play a small part in this. Because of this, they might find it hard to keep track of distribution and sales. In conclusion, network marketing is a valuable tool for manufacturers since it enables them to reach out to a huge number of potential clients through an extensive network of distributors and dealers. It provides a distinct benefit to companies by lowering their costs associated with advertising, lowering the profit margins of retailers, and enabling distributors to make a limitless amount of commissions. On the other hand, it presents a number of difficulties such as the difficulty of establishing production objectives and tracking distribution and sales. In spite of these downsides, network marketing continues to be a prevalent marketing trend and an efficient method for firms to increase their sales and broaden their customer base. We appreciate you watching. If you enjoyed watching this video and found it to be helpful, please consider giving it a thumbs up 
sharing it with your friends and coworkers, and subscribing to our channel so that you may view further videos that provide instructive content on simple marketing methods. Your contribution enables us to produce films that are more beneficial to our audience, and as a result, we are grateful for your likes, shares, and subscriptions. We really appreciate it.